Why, hello there, everybody. Today we are playing Cruise Ship Tycoon, and uh, I've gotten two requests on my last video to um, make a Solar Pelican tutorial. So let's go ahead and do so. Um, so I'm going to load my safe slot. And this was a Cormoran I built yesterday, but it was a quick one and I kind of messed up. Um, so let's actually buy Pelican here. Wait for the ship to TPS. Alright, let's dock. Alright, so. <clears throat> We're gonna do the engine deck next, um, so we'll, well, that's gonna be like, we'll do that later. So, in the meantime, I actually, you guys can do whatever tile you want up here, but I'm gonna jump straight into doing wood, because wood is my favorite type of tile. I'm also gonna delete this funnel, and we're also gonna do the carnival funnel. Uh, you should do the 3-1, uh, to make it even. Um, it's, it's, I think it's the same price, though. Yeah, it is. Um, but it's just to make it even here. So, I'm probably gonna put it like, th and yes, we're not, this is a solar ship, it just, I think the, the no, not tutorial, I think the, uh, the funnel gives it, um, a good, good decoration, um, and it's funny, cause the, uh, the Pelican Bridge is, I think, might be bigger than the Osprey Bridge, I don't know, either that or laziness. Alright, anyway, uh, let's actually get our, uh, this is my favorite type of, um, fencing, so I'm actually gonna use this fencing. I just wish Al uh, Osprey had all that, and I wish that if you're gonna do railing up there, then make the whole ship like, like, br br like, br like, really. Eh, there's wor word stumble there. Alright, um, let's go ahead to utilities. Uh, I'd like to have a radome right here. Radome here. <clears throat> Alright, so that works for our radomes. Then let's head to the back here, where we're going to have two or three radomes. I haven't decided yet. Well, that just settles the question there. Uh, and then we're going to put that there. Then, that's our radome aspect. And, you know, just I just think the ship should have radomes. And, yes, again, I know it's solar t um, uh, ship, so don't worry about that. I got I know what I'm doing. Um, so we're gonna come here, and then we're gonna come here, 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 and here. Same up here. Um, lifeboats, maybe. I haven't decided yet. Um, so anyway, let's actually continue that. Um, I just hate when I have to close off those bridge wings, but we don't really need it, so it doesn't matter. Um, again, I just like to fence everything off to organize it. Um, you don't have to, it's just something I choose to do. Um, so I'm gonna make that come here. Oh, I can't wait till we get Albatross, which is probably gonna be very far away. Uh, cause if you would've, if you're in the Discord server Haggy yesterday, uh, we're, we're like, Haggy, you should work on Albatross or something. And he's like, yeah, Albatross has some things that uh, but it doesn't need to be fixed right now. So that's just like, hint, hint, I don't know how to fix it is what, I'm, what it sounds like. Um, so anyway, uh, let's actually get our stairs here. I, you know, I'd say Pelican's probably got a better front than Osprey TV, like, not front, uh, not front, um, can't think of the word I'm trying to use, um, it's kind of funny, because, um, some of the beta people, you guys join at the perfect time, because we're in a stage now to, when I joined in Alpha, literally you had to spam bars throughout your ship for entertainment, and we only had the Raven, um, so I had, generated i'd say i got to about 30 million with a raven because that we had that for a long time for about a month or two um, well no about two months uh, in total um yeah so anyway i say pelican has a better front than osprey like not front bow but point being um right so let's come back here and let's actually Fence this off here. So as this is our, um, this might be our entertainment deck, then that's going to be our pool deck, right, and that would leave us with, and there's one thing I don't like about solar ships, but anyway, um, actually we're going to jump back up here because, um, the solar panels, we need to, uh, which actually, on um, Pelican, nicely enough, people are like, well, we want an odd-numbered ship, but there's a reason, the problem with an odd-numbered ship, you can never perfectly center anything, pools or anything, you just can't, 
like perfectly center it. So, yeah, I tell you, Pelican. I mean, I, it's not. It, it's kind of a small ship, since saying we know Albatross is out there. But if I joined a cruise ship tycoon alpha and we had the Pelican, well, I did join an alpha, but like cruise ship tycoon, um, we actually got Pelican and alpha. So at least Al Beta came out with three ships, and then Beta also uh, had uh, Osprey come in. So weird, because we only had those two ships for a long period of time, and now they're on manufacturing, manufacturing ships like crazy. Um, damn. Yeah, so actually, since we have a solar ship here, a battery-powered ship, we actually don't need a lot of uh, engines, because um, the, the engines here are meant to consume battery or fuel. Should you just sell that? Uh, the fuel because for one we don't need it and like so let's just get rid of it right um so anyway uh coming back here around here um right so there is our solar panel farm there's a reason I'm calling it a solar panel farm because technically all it does is farms electricity for our ship so that's why I'm calling it a solar grid farm. Um, so let's actually make that come here. Again, it is completely optional. <clears throat> if you want to, um, yet again, it is completely optional, as I was saying. If you would like to put fencing, I'm just doing it again just to make it look more neat, not neater, uh, more organized. You can do what you would like, though. That's up to you, not me. Yeah, I'm not gonna put the funnel in one though, cause. All right, so there is that part. Um, let's actually come down here and then let's get some floor, and then I'd like to get some wood here. And we go. I wish we could like change that tile, but we can't, unfortunately. That's one thing I didn't like about Pelican. Which actually, I was kind of ha uh, happy because I got to pick uh, with some of the other people the Pelican type thing. Uh, so, actually, let me just show you what I mean. Uh, so, me and a few other alpha testers, Alan Z all asks me, and some of the more active alpha testers, do you want this thing right here, like this, like, skirt thing? Like, you know how it just goes straight there? If that was an option, just to have it straight, or if you, if we had this thing that kind of curves. So, I was happy to be a part of that decision. Or question, if you would. Um, and actually, we could put our fuel, uh, not... Why do I keep saying fuel? Um, like, the gas power, like, br like, bro, I mean, like, yeah. Alright, anyway, um, see, and I like, um, and I want to put the engines and the batteries first and kind of do this first, and here's why. Your ship can charge while we build, and then that's less money we have to spend on electricity. So, actually, that's probably as many engines as we need, um, considering, again, our ship is battery powered and it doesn't consume as much. Um, so I'm actually going to put a few batteries back here just to test it out. So about 20 equals 1 megawatt. So, yeah. See, batteries are that one thing that should be like the carpet where you can just kind of like drag them and then they like place you themselves. That would be nice, but you know what? It is whatever. Um, type of scenario. So this is actually just going to be what we're going to use to test our engine speed here because I'd like us to be able to go a pretty decent speed. Um, Osprey uh, with Osprey can only, I you can actually get your ship um, with gas on Osprey to go pretty decent speed. Um, <laughs> I like all these off brands like Solaris. Actually, that may be a brand. I'm not entirely sure, but usually some of them are um, a little off brand. See, you know what it's funny? I find funny. See, Pelican and Osprey and Albatross, they all come default with these, like, three decks with the balconies, which, pretty sure you're supposed to, you, sh or you, you can put balcony rooms there. It's pretty, sh I'm pretty confident that's what the idea that was. So, actually, real quick, let's kind of load our ship up with, oh, that's good for testing. But look, I mean, this thing's got a decent amount of power, so you saw we added, like, six engines or something. Um, the acceleration with electric is amazing. 
I'm hoping we can go about 20 to 25 knots. Hmm, going pretty decent for a pelican, I think. Oh, yeah. Pelican here on. Eh, that makes me smile. Yeah, about 22. And yet again, we've got like eight engines, so not bad. I think um, so 22.85 knots let's actually turn around and head back to port well I'm not gonna turn the ship around and yeah the pelican looks so good with this uh, carnival funnel it's the right height and everything and the carnival aft I think makes it look really well with this and that's one thing I like about pelican and as I said this thing has got pretty decent acceleration here and actually, I'd like to dock at the Newport Terminal. So, you can do whatever you want, but I'm going to attempt to dock at the Newport Terminal. Because I, I don't like docking at the pier, unless I like... You buy it. Ah, the third Osprey class ship is almost empty. I did some of Hi. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to continue recording as he said hello. Like I like to say hi to you guys. And that guy is my friend in the sensation, so. See, I I want to get to it. See, Albatross, it's funny, because since this port has bad hitboxes, Albatross can park there because Imp was experiment. Well, was um, quick towed to Newport once and got towed to that and allowed Imp to dock there. So, like, the out back one, like, right here and, like, was obstructing with the scenery. Yeah, I'm sorry to just, I wanted to dock by the terminal, because um, realistically, Osprey doesn't really go well at this Newport terminal. I feel like it's going to be like uh, Osprey and Albatross mainly. I feel like they're main, well, Albatross mainly has to be out of Orion. I mean, unless you, unless Haggy doesn't um, patch the glitch where Albatross docks. And I'm pretty sure when Haggy integrated Albatross for the admins, I'm pretty sure he wanted to add it for the public but they found a good a decent amount of bugs so they're like oh okay well rip rip albatross um which i would have thought would have been fixable but you know it is what it is yeah and you're gonna see here why i think pelican fits perfectly at this port <sighs> like literally this is pretty much perfect um all right anyway let's oh this is actually kind of cool i like I like this ability, TBH. Um, alright, and yeah, now we just need to see NPCs walking down the pier. Um, right, so anyway, um... Alright, if... Eight engines, let us do that. Then, actually, we should add a few more engines. I mean, we got a decent amount of battery, and I want to be able to go, like, 30 knots. Again, like, that's what I like about Cormorant. You can go, like, 50 knots with just fuel, and so, like, that was nice. Seems to me they slowed down the speed of this ship, because pretty sure you used to just have to have two engines, and you could go, like, 25 knots. Oh, honestly, this is the one I hate the most, this class. Um, the the bow, it, it only has that one deck for that. When you look at Osprey and Albatross, that have the two. Yep, just trying to get the moon most amount of supplies we can here right see and that's how magic works as well um right so let's go ahead and place our battery just because um i sometimes get an extra megawatt just without some with some empty spaces on the ship so recharge or heal oh i didn't mean to recharge dang it oh well well yeah don't make that mistake i did where you recharge but point being um right so not gonna put anything back there besides batteries. And actually, at least since we're putting batteries back here, it will charge at least. And so now we're at a point to where <clears throat> if I if uh, we add these little 
Alrighty. Well, this kind of actually alters our design a little bit. See, remember how I wanted it to come down, the pool to go into the hole? That would just wipe out all the, and that would wipe out like all the batteries. Um, well, realistically then, let's put this, yeah, right? I'm just kind of put it like that with an open concept. No. Oh, yeah. This is the ship I'll put rooms off the aft. Um, so we'll actually do that. Um, right, so. I want to do the pool up here. And, yeah, let's do the pool up here. I'm changing my mind. Um, because this can be our entertainment deck, and then that way we don't have to cut down and, and not have as less rooms. I'd like to have as most rooms as we can, yet again while having some decent entertainment. So, we might be able to put a store in this deck, and actually, before I forget, what's well, actually three, four... Right, so... You can put metal door or any door you would like. I'm gonna put a metal door, um, because NPCs apparently can't walk through that. I thought they could, but whatever. Um, right, so, I actually have some pool plants in here, so, therefore, we're gonna be like this, here. And then, so, yeah, we got our little sun beds in our little pool area for our little NPCs. Um, why do I always call them, like, little NPCs? I mean, yeah, in a way, they are a little compared to my, like, sizing in the game. Yeah, you know, so we just kind of, like, set some plans here, you know? Just kind of make this pool deck feel more... And this is another thing I like about plants, you know, is it just makes the place feel a little mm, nicer, realistic. Alright, so... Bro, why is that there? Um, anyway, I'm not gonna complain because I don't really care. Um. Alright, so we're gonna put the one here. Then we're gonna put our monitors here. And then actually, just to make this a little even, I'm actually gonna put our monitors here, which I'm pretty sure, yep, is like that. Oh. Then I'm gonna put this one here. And that's our end monitors. Coming over here, I'm actually going to put our little bridge wing controls, um, you know, the albatross actually has that full tile, and like, I'm going to put glass out there or something. Should I remodel my spray? Kevin's not even, yeah, oh, I must have joined Kevin then. Okay, well, anyway, let's continue, um. I would like to put my stairs now, actually, so, um, you grew my deck up, oh, right, alright, um, well, since we're doing it on this side, I truly think we should do it there, then. We could do food on the bottom deck, I guess. Because I don't really want to have... Well, no, yeah, or else we lose rooms. I mean, realistically, yeah, but... Alright, I'm going to remodel my street. Alright, well, knock yourself out and have fun. Um, right, so... Right, so I'd like to maybe fit a not a bathroom, a uh, store up here. Um, so we're actually gonna perfect. Well, um, no, I don't know if I'm gonna put anything back here. Realistically, I, if I can fit a bar actually back here, retail tycoon. <laughs> no, well, just kidding. Um, this actually would serve as enough bars, believe it or not, because. We have the pools and everything, and yeah, I think I will have a few indoor bars still, but. Alright, so, 
that's our little bar area. Um, which is gonna go like that. Uh, and then we're gonna actually take our picture windows here, bring that here, uh, and then I'm actually gonna take our door now and gonna place that. Also in here, again, I think we should just place a little plant, or, and actually in here, why don't we do a different style plant? So we'll put one in the corner, and then, uh, we can put a table or two in here, because usually bars, uh, have, like, chips or snacks, um, like, well, I don't think cruise ship bars do, but oh well. Anyway, so that is that area, and then I would like to have... Oh yeah, rooms. Let me move this to rooms, like, bro. Alright, um... Actually, if our retail could fit here, it can. Good. Oh, but this would redo how we have to set this up. Mm. Alright, well then, why don't we have our windows coming? Okay, here's what I'm going to do for the doors. Like that, and like that, and then I'm going to take our marble, and then I'm going to put the marble in the bathrooms here. Alright, so there's our marble concept idea and um all right so i wish there was a plant in the store but i've probably said that a bunch of times before hmm yeah i was gonna say i don't think they put one of those up here um we could put a Despaquitos, but, um, well, maybe we should. I mean, if you're, yeah, yeah, we can, we can fit a small one. Alright, yeah, we can fit a small one there. Mm, two is pushing it, because this is going to be like, hey, you want, like, a pool snack? Like, you know how the, some of the Disney ships actually have, um, Oh jeez, uh, we'll delete that in a second. Um, Alright, so now we're going to come over here. And we'll put a few tables, because again, this isn't like the main dining room. This is just where you're going to come if you're want to. If you like upstairs and you're just, you know, hungry. And, you know, the NPCs, they're, they're really demanding. And yeah. Alright, so let's actually can put our marble back here. Uh, and again, actually, I don't really want this part here, so I'm just going to put that there. Oh, and I already deleted that one piece. Alright, um, so there's our ship part. Not our little Despaquitos. Um, that settles the upper deck, I think. Actually, we're going to put a few batteries here, so. For the sake of being, let's put a few batteries. Alright, so. That'll charge up in like a few seconds, so. Um. Alright, so let's actually put this here, here, and let's get a tilted window and put that here. And actually, real quick too, because um, just to kind of balance this out, I think I'm going to come back to rooms and we're going to put two private bathrooms. And just, again, it kind of balances it out as you can see. It just kind of makes it look even on the walls for one. Uh, so then we actually just use our corner wall again. This is going pretty good, I think, for uh, what we're doing here. So, let's make it face the same way then. Hmm. Alright, so that, that kind of completes what I want to do up here. And you're like, well, why do we have so many bathrooms? Oh, uh, we have so many bathrooms because the NPCs, you know, they're really demandy. So, that's that. Um, actually, why don't we put a few... Um, you know, I said I wasn't going to do food up here, but I think we could fit a Despaquitos right there. And then I think we'd fit one over here. Yeah, alright. So, yeah, I mean, again, I didn't want to make this our food area, except this would maximize our... Uh, it could help raise our rating, so... Why don't we come back here and um, put these back there. There. 
And then again, we're going to do this even concept to make the doors look parallel. And then I'm going to put one here. And then I'm going to put one here. Then I'm going to grab our plant again because I'd like to have a plant there. Um, right, so now we kind of have our idea of what we want to do. And actually, if we're going to even that out, let's put that there. And. Um, Yeah, we can just have a little worker's closet or something back there, I don't know. Oh, right, so let's actually grab our furnishings again, and this is probably the best solar ship I've known, TBH. Um, I, maybe, I'm not gonna make that, like, the final say, but... No, we're only a few minutes in the tutorial, if I do recall, if I am correct on that. If I'm not correct on that, well, please correct me. Um, so... Right, so... That is pretty much completing our top deck, our engine deck. So now all we have to do really is rooms and food. So this isn't gonna take long. Alright, so again, each of these big facility decks, I'd like to have at least one big uh, medium restroom um, to satisfy the NPC's bathroom, their very needy bathroom needs. Um, so actually, real quick, why don't I delete that, delete that, delete that. Uh, yeah, let's just delete that. And then... Because as you guys do know, uh, we're not using this. We're actually going to use glass because I'd like to, again, to have picture windows. Um, and we're in the high enough deck to do picture windows. So, um, a high enough deck to do picture windows. Uh, so, remember how I said I was going to have rooms off the F? I don't know if I'm going to... Hmm... How much room would this take? Mm, we could put two there, I guess. Just because, you know, I think we should. Uh, just because. So, anyway, let's then. Now we have to set this up, which was one thing I didn't want to do, but, you know, it's okay. Um, I like brooms off the app, so. You know, I'm actually probably going to use this ship for a little while, TBH, because, you know, I don't really have a need to exchange it right now, because there's no albatross. I've kind of done a bore, I've, I'm kind of bored with the cormorant, the osprey, and stuff, so why don't we actually play around, and I think I'm going to keep the, the ship. So, now we're going to go back to our angled wall here, and then we're going to put that there, 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 there. Then we're going to come down here, and we're going to put that there, there. Oh, jeez. Alright, well, that's okay. Actually, let's just put this here. Then I'll switch back to our normal wall, and then I'm going to rebuild that. And... You know what? i got to do the same thing I do down there. Um, yeah, and again, just to even this out, let's get rid of that. And then, let's actually... Uh, no, that would delete that wall. Um, but now we need to go here and delete those things. This reminds me of my room off the back of the Disney ship on the Fantasy oh, when I went on it last year. Right, so again, that is charged. And as I was saying earlier, we don't have a lot of megawatts, but with the way the ship does lay out, we will have um, empty areas to put batteries. Um, again, like right here. What else am, am I going to really put something there? Odds are probably not. So, yeah, so now with that, we have our nice aft balconies um oh remember how i said i wanted to put uh, medium bathrooms on this deck we put the two back here i guess and then oh and then you know what we could do we could again come to our power source and we could put uh two batteries back here Alright, so real quick, actually, I'm going to redo how I have this, and I'm actually going to make it face this way, and then I'm going to take this, and then I'm going to make it face this way, and so it just kind of creates a little effect. So actually, again, I'm going to take, um, coat our bathrooms here with marble, just for the sakes of realism, and then I'm going to put this here, here, here... See? And so that's how that shapes out. So then we're going to keep on going here. And I'm actually going to block the 
staircase off. Uh, not block it off, but have the walls around it that I like to have around it. So actually, real quick, let me come back there and then... Why don't we just get this part installed? And if my dog does bark, I'm sorry about that. And the odds are you're going to hear a bark in about a few seconds. So anyway, I'm going to continue here. Um, Alright, so that's the walls. And now you can just kind of follow along what I do. So we may end up making this a two-part video. Which I may merge, so it may not really be a two-part video if you would, but anyway, um, so we're, you know, so I'm just going to continue building. All right, be right back. All right, hey guys, I am back, and let's continue, actually. So, um, right, so what we're going to do is we're going to place our tables now, and yeah. Right, so as we are almost done with the tables, we're going to head to the back of our ship's end. Alright, so heading back now. Um, we're actually going to put... I don't use these tables a lot, but let's actually use them. So... We can come back here and get... Oh, jeez. 
Dang it. Oh, jeez. Alright, so we're just gonna place that. Place that. And that. Alright, so that completes this deck, I think. And commit, like, even for the plant here. Alright, no, we can't. Alright, so that's the end of this deck, actually. Actually, if we put plant there. Yeah, we can just kind of put those there just to, you know, so like, hey, we, got, we do have a plant there. Alright, anyway, um, now we're just doing rooms. Uh, minus one deck, but for the most part, now we're doing rooms. So, so we're actually going to put those there, and then let's actually start on our state room. So, I'm doing all balconies. Uh, you can do whatever you would like. But I personally am going with all balcony rooms, because um, those are the money makers, if you would. So, let's start here. Okay, let's just put that exactly against those and see what this would form. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, um, the three by fours, if you did not know, were actually made for the pelican, because um, we all kept complaining, like, we can't put balconies on both sides, dang it. So, you know, that's another reason to want albatross, because then we can do the 2 by 5s and albatross would then allow you to get more money that way. So anyway, let's continue. Oof. An osprey was so close to being able to. That's what sucked. Alright, anyway. Alright. So now we just got to change our deck here, like this, and then we're going to take our wall in just a second, because we need to actually put our little stopper thingies here. So, on Pelican, I don't exactly know, oh jeez, every time I build a Pelican ship, though, there's always this extra spot, and you know, that makes me smile sometimes. Alright, so, um, power, right, so that maximizes that. Let's take our carpet again. Kind of sucks, because, um, I... Usually just straightly upload the videos, but today I'm just going to do a little bit of it. Well, not really any editing, except I'm going to merge them together, and yeah. Alright, so that completes that portion. However, I would like a... Oh, you're joking. You couldn't even put one in there. Alright, um, alright, so as I was saying, I'm like, well, we could we're just gonna put those, well, change my mind. We're gonna put those, and then... Yeah, dang it. Yeah, and it's just more to cram more people in the ship. Usually I only do two, uh, two hamburgers, and that would be it. But since we did four, actually, um, cause usually I do about four on Osprey, but I'm like, oh wait, I need eight on Osprey. And you don't really need eight on Osprey. You need about six on Osprey as a safe amount I'd go with. Alright, so, um, yeah, and one of these days, too, I probably will make a pelican that has, like, all these cool features on it, and I'll probably do that with all ships, like atriums, double floor rest, stuff, stuff like that, that will still turn up a profit at some point, um, right, so that is that part, really, that was, yeah, right, the, see, that was pretty easy, alright, so now we're down here, do our activities. Uh, usually I put my hot tubs down here, um, so that's why you're like, well, why didn't you put any more hot tubs? Well, that's why. Um, so, see, I was hoping our thing would charge the, uh, Well, why don't we just put these back here, because, like, why not? 
right, so let's go down a deck then, and yeah. Funny enough, another fellow pelican class. I wonder if there's even an osprey in my server. Nope, just pelican. Right, so actually I'm going to add an extra freezer right here. And we're going to add some batteries right here. So it's so quick to build a pelican, then you look at how long it takes to like build an osprey. Um, right, so there's kind of our ship design. Um, I say she turned out pretty great. So let's real quick do a quick sailing on her. I'm gonna call her the. Yeah, I don't know what to really call it, but Solar Dream works. So um, yeah. Alright, now we're going to load our passengers here after we dock, and we're going to resupply, and we're going to head up to Iceberg, I think. Alright, 97k a day, and hopefully, bro, you joking, well, we better stay in that 3 star range, hopefully, um, so, ye, please be satisfied, NPCs, we did, we did a good, so good of a job, though. Um, alright, well, anyway, let's leave port. Well, again, what? I can't get any food. Oh. Oh, that's why they're raiding. So I can't get to any food. Oh, cause it, oh, that's why your ratings are down. Because I never actually put our, um, alright. Yeah, I never put windows, I mean doors. There we go, so this should hopefully satisfy them. Yeah, so that's why our ratings went to like a 3, by the way. Alright, so they aren't complaining anymore, at least, so that is good. Um, let's see if I can find any other complainers that I can try and fix their needs. Well, this is kind of cool to have that there. 
I'd totally like to be on this deck if I was on a cruise ship. Yeah, and we don't really have... I mean, we we got about two... How many people are on this ship? 120. That's not bad. Um, right, so let's kind of speed up then. We're bound for Iceberg, which I don't know if we can make it. Um, we should be able to, um, but again, not really positive. Um, but worst case, we just have to slow down, um, which is okay. Right, so actually I'm going to come back here, and I'm going up. Yeah, what's good? This is, the, this is literally how tall Albatross is. If you were to stand on the highest deck on Albatross. Um, which, hey, it's pretty tall. So anyway, um, I'm going to actually turn our ship here towards Iceberg. I'm not sure if we're going to make it or not. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, possibly we'll make it, because even though we consume fast, our speed is about 34 knots. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so, yep, you can see another pelican back there. I like this carnival funnel, um, especially when you're going... I mean, yes, I know technically we don't need it, except I just kind of think it's nice decoration. And it, can, it looks really cool, too, like this. Alright, I gotta take a video thumbnail for this video, so... Ooh, perfect, 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 if I'm quick enough. Yeah. Alright, that was a good picture I actually took for the thumbnail. So let's get on over to Iceberg. If we don't make it, I'm just gonna tow and possibly delete some engines, but you know, I'm probably gonna stick with this ship for a while because we spent a decent amount of time on it. And, you know, I don't like I like to rebuild ships, but you know, I I like this ship. I think if we can get to Iceberg, um, then yeah, I'm definitely keeping it in oh, Just look how fast these are spinning though. <laughs> Jeez Louise. So cool because, like, these AZ pods, the science use, like, you watch this. So, let's just say we, you know, it's just so cool how quick they spin with the solar. <clears throat> Here, let's just kind of ride in, let's just ride in this person's room balcony. Well, their balcony, more of. Well, Pelican has this little design variant, but. <laughs> when I go on this ship in real life, if I could, uh, yeah, if I could actually own a ship like this in real life, yeah, I'd go on it. Uh, except I don't think we'd have solar, but, you know. It's so weird just being, like, by the act. Um, like, literally, like, right by the act. It's like you're being towed along, kind of like a train, you're, like, at the end of the train. And, uh, yeah. You know, I thought Pelican in real life would have been big, big but yeah, f technically it would just be like the fourth deck of the Disney Magic. <laughs> Even Albatross being like seven decks tall, that's not, I mean, that's getting close to like an actual like ship that would cruise the Caribbean, but that's not close either. And actually, yeah, I think we're going to make it. As long as we make it to the dock, we're fine. To the pier, if you would. Whatever you would like to call it. Actually, I'm gonna go to the after room. Oh yeah, I just tell you though, I love the view of the after rooms. Right. So coming up here to the Pelican funnel, and actually I'm going to the bridge on this ship. I I want to go to our bridge here and check that out real quick. It gives us something to do as well. Right. So NPCs seem to be keeping our ship at a solid three stars, even with access to food. Doesn't really make a difference. But here's the thing. Keep in mind that this ship is only supposed to have, like, 40 people on it. I mean, that's just kind of what, um, Haggy told the calculations of Haggy's idea of having these NPCs. And three stars with 128 people in the Pelican class is not... I, I'm gonna go on a limb and say that's not bad. Of course, all of us have more passengers than they're recommended, because you want to make more money, obviously. Um, that is the goal. And we might just make it 
I may do a tug because I'm too lazy to dock. For some reason, her speed actually dipped, so I don't know. All right, so I'm just going to tug here. I think we may have made it or not, but all right. Well, that's going to pretty much wrap up today's video, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, see you guys later.